Two days now with Ryan on this press tour. What did you make so far of the interactions with him and what happened up uh, on stage? Uh, just a bunch of uh, trash talking. Um, I don't know. Just ready to fight, man. This is part of the fight game, and I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys kind of did, did he touch you at all, or you touch him at all up there? Because I know usually it gets kind of yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't remember him touching my chin, but I mean, I I, I think I felt a little bit, but it ain't it ain't. I know his chin is super soft. His chin is like a pillow. <laughs> yeah. Max. This might just touch him. Right yeah, there. his chin like. His chin not like mine, bro. I'm yeah. feeling my chin that I'm just thinking about feeling his chin. His is a little soft. <laughs> Facts. For you, Gervonta, what does this fight mean? And what's like at stake here, in, in your opinion? It means a lot. I feel as though uh, Ryan is a tough fight, a tough fighter, uh, well, a good fighter. Uh, I'm a great fighter. Uh, we both put our skills on the line, our O on the line. We young. You know what I mean? Um, it means a lot. It means a lot for the sport of boxing. It, it actually uh, put that put that that uh, space in there so young fighters can fight each other. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot that come around this this fight. It just I feel as though this 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 is a mega fight for sure. Usually people don't want to get in the ring with you because of your power, and your power is really a. A special thing that you possess but Ryan was very adamant about wanting to fight you did that surprise you at all and do you feel maybe he has a false sense of confidence going into the ring with you no nah, he wasn't getting paid that golden boy he's trying to get some money that's, that's what it is reason. yeah that's what it is he's trying to get some money yeah. trying to get that guaranteed money and that back end money that's what he's trying to get so what happens to him after this in his career I don't know I mean he's a, he's hopefully he can Keep his head above water after this. You know what I mean? I mean, one loss ain't gonna hurt. Yeah. You know, he's brought up the rehydration thing many, many times. Just what do you make of him bringing it up and making it a, a thing in the fight? Shit, that's a part of the sport of boxing. That's a part of the sport of boxing. He wanted to fight me. You know what I mean? I'm the A side. All day. You know what I mean? So. Say that again. That's that's how, that's what come with it. That's what it come with it. That would come with. We saw that video of you in Vegas at the Mayweather gym uh, with Rolly. Are you guys cool now? Like, did you squash everything? I mean, it wasn't ever no beef with me, bro. You know what I mean? It's we we uh, he, he be in the gym when when I train and things like that, and he he be training. It's, it's no bad blood. You know what I mean? It's uh it's all cool. You know what I mean? It ain't I said it wasn't no bad blood though. I don't, it, it, it is what it is. The winner of this fight, it'll be my last one, the winner of the fight uh, is going to be seen potentially as number one at 135 pounds. There's a champion undisputed at 135 pounds. If you win this fight, would you like to have a fight with Devin Haney just to get all those belts? My main focus is Ron Garcia. If it prevents itself in the future, then let's do it. I'm all with it. We look at this fight, I know when you break it down, what like is there a certain fight from the past that you feel this looks familiar to at all? Uh, from the past, what fight? I don't know. Probably, I want to say a young, I don't know. I don't really know like a lot of back in the day. Probably, the only thing I can say that I remember probably Floyd and Oscar, probably. That's the only one I, that's the only one I can really like think of off the top of the head because of just like both of them like they from different side of, of the world and they like they, they definitely was different but they both had like like they said both of them had was like special fighters mm -hmm. but they was like coming from like Floyd was coming from his side and Oscar was coming from his side so I feel as though it was like it's like that with me and Ryan. Thank you some it's it's like a, a big topic of this fight. Okay. Uh, the rehydration thing. Well, what's your take on it? I know you're like, uh, but people are bringing it up. What's what's your take on it? I had that conversation about that. <laughs> it's part of boxing, y'all. When people put certain things in certain contracts, sometimes the sanctioning body does the same thing because they don't want nobody to be bigger than somebody at a fight. That's it. You know, Tank have to do the same thing too, second way in. So There's a second way in for both? 
of both, yes. So, so it is what it is. So what's like the info on that? How does that work and how is that going to work on fight night? There before, it, it really doesn't matter because once you step on that scale the second time, you can go do what you got to do. It doesn't matter. So, you know, again, I don't know. If he, it seems like he's worrying about that more than anything. Well, that leads me to uh, the other thing is like some fans have said like, oh, there we go. That's the, uh, I don't want to say excuse, but that's the thing that's going to. Let me explain something to you. I'm on the street. A guy walk up to me wearing 200 pounds and I'm only wearing 170. What I'm going to do? No, what are you going to do? I'm going to handle my business. Yeah. You get it? So yeah. what's the difference? Uh, okay. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that we campaign at 135, we campaign at 140, but we choose to stay at 135, get what I'm saying, because that's where our, our belt is at, you get what I'm saying? He didn't want to do 135, he's doing 136, fine, get what I'm saying, okay, we're going to do 136, you can't do this. Yeah. Cat and mouse game. Mm. All right. And it's that's why we're sitting here, because yeah. they agreed to it. Because yeah, people have said like, oh, he's, you know, he's trying to get an advantage on him. He's worried he's going to be too big. You've been watching the fights, right? Yes. The majority of the last three fights, most guys have been bigger than Tank. They were. So which some people were like, well, why even put it in? Because he's taking out guys that are bigger than him. That's why we put it in. Yeah. To watch them from what they're doing. Because they do some wild stuff. So y'all don't understand. At this level, a wild stuff happens at this level. Yeah. That's why Floyd, Floyd was so big on testing them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we've been saying in boxing, jokers be cheating. You brought it up in Miami, that point. Is there comprehensive testing for this fight? Yeah, they both are testing. Yeah. They both are testing. So far, everything's been good. Nothing wrong, you know. So they both doing it. Just, that's what's worrying them. So right now, Ron, stop worrying about it. Just do what you got to do, you know. Give up a good performance and everybody good. It's based on that night. You know, I have different strategies how I'm approaching it, but again, um, I had to keep Tank level headed. When I keep him level headed. Mm -mm -mm. That's all I can say. Is there any like fight in specific from the past that this reminds you of, like stylistically? Well, no, not really. I just look at it as Floyd and Oscar. The difference is Tank be putting the Jokers to sleep, but this performance he's gonna put on. And because of Ron, I just, what type of Ron is coming that night? You know what I'm saying? You know? So I'm not going to tell you. I don't know until I start saying what he did. You guys as coaches, like, don't you, or not don't you, but do you guys ever get like a, like an inkling, like a gut feeling, like how a fight will play out at all, ever? Not me. I, see, I stay busy. Once I leave this, I'm with my amateurs. My amateurs take chances. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing things, you know? Um, when it comes to tank, we have an energy that, you know, it clicks. You know what I'm saying? So he understand, you know. Um, him being around Floyd, being around Floyd gives him that different element. You get what I'm saying? And um, Floyd seen it. That's why he invested him. So that tells me I got the right product. By chance, has there been any communication with you guys and Floyd and, and any advice given for this fight? Floyd's been doing his thing. Tank is doing his thing. You know, I know he's sitting back. That's why I mentioned his name. Let him. It's, it's actually saying thank you, to tell you the truth. You know, um, you see Leonard here saying thank you. No love lost. You get what I'm saying? We, 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 we work, we're working for the better good of the circle.